This video is about how to condense logarithms using the same properties we used before. We're going to condense them down to one logarithm. Okay, so these properties should look familiar. The only thing that's different today is we're going in the reverse direction. Notice it's expanded here and it's condensed to one log over here on the right. Same product rule we used before, we're just going the other direction. Quotient rule, notice if two things are subtracted with the same base, they really are divided. So when I ask you to make a one log, write it as one log, this is what it would look like. Power rule, remember the n was pulled down, so we're going backwards. Okay, and all, that's all we're doing is going backwards from where we were yesterday. So keep these, keep these properties in mind as we move forward to examples. All right, so the directions will say write as a single logarithm. So you've got multiple logarithms, so we know it's going to be a logarithm base 5 because that's what each term has in common. Okay, notice the subtraction means that something was divided. And then the 2 out front, remember that became was a power before, so it's really 4 squared. And then the 10 is just 10. Well, we can reduce that. 4 squared is 16 over 10. Reduce it, we get 8 over 5. So my answer would be the log base 5 of 8 over 5. If you can reduce it, you should reduce it. Always, always. Look at number 2. All right, notice the log has the same base all along. So that's where I'm going to start this thing. So log base A, right? Those are taken care of. Now let's look at each term. I've got 48 minus that 3 is, means it was a power since it's up front. So it goes up here. 2 to the third times, it's minus means it's on the bottom as well, 5. All right, well, that's 48 over 2 cubed is 8 times 5, so that's a 40. So I got 40 over 48. Well, again, I need to reduce this. So the log base A, divide both powers by, let's see, what can we divide it by? They both go into 8, so I could do 6 over 5. That would be the most reduced form. All right. Number 3, log base or one half log base a of four. Well, this is really just one term, so it's the log base a of four, and that one half was a power. But remember that one half means the square root of four, which we know is two. So this is really the log base a of two. Okay. Again, if you can simplify it, you should. All right, these two examples look a little more complex. We can take it in baby steps. Okay, notice you got log base A on each one of these, right? So let's start there. Log base A, first term is a 6, but it has a power of 2 squared. Okay, plus means it's multiplied by what's next? Well, it's 3 to the 1 half power. Okay, the minus means it was a quotient, so it's a divided by 12. All right, so we need to do some simplifying. So 6 squared is 36. 3 to the 1 half power is the square root of 3. So just leave that for now. Over 12. Well, we know these reduce. So what I really have is the log base A of 3 square roots of 3. And that's as far as you would take it. All right, reduce, reduce, reduce. Look at number 5. Plus means product rule. You've got powers and more powers. So let's see what happens here. The log of x cubed raised to the sixth power times, that's what the plus sign gives us, x to the sixth raised to the th two thirds power. All right, so don't freak out about these powers to powers because if you remember your exponent rules, a power is raised to a power, you multiply the powers. So what I have here is x to the 18th times, let's see, um, think of this as two fractions. So 6 times 2 is 12 over 3, which reduces to the fourth power. So I have the log of x to the 18th times x to the fourth, which when they're side by side, you would add these powers. Notice the difference. This is multiplied. These are added, okay, side by side. So what I get is the log of x to the 22nd power. And that's where I would stop because I don't know what x is. Now I want you to try this one. It's a long expanded problem. I want you to try to condense it right down to one single log. Good luck and we'll see you in class.